It's the Midweek Roundup. Now, folks, welcome to another Midweek Roundup. Let's get straight into the action and see what you guys have been painting. Let's start with some boats. We've got the Dwarf Fleet from Brent Mayhew. Really nice big Dwarf Fleet, um, done in similar sort of colours to the box art. Really, really good job. And uh, really like the basin as well. He's used uh, some water effects there, I think. Um, with a nice uh, white dry brush over the top to give the uh, the effect of the the waves lapping up against the boats. Really, really nice job. Also very jealous of how uh, neat and tidy his paint racks are in the background compared to mine. And we've got some doggos. We've got some good boys. We've got the bomb versions of the more beasts for the Marauders in Firefight. Uh, this is Brutal Deluxe painting. We've featured him before. Um, really, really top-notch artist. And uh, I think these guys look fantastic. The boat. Um, this is Chris Parallel. Again, I think we featured Chris in the past with uh, some more of his boats. Um, really, really like the um, effect on the sails, the red and the sort of off beige cream. Um, gives it that dirty sort of out at sea look. Um, these are really, really nice. Um, making me need to get on and finish mine. I've started a Varangar fleet. Um, I've got as far as painting and dry brushing the hulls and I've got a base coat down on the sails and then I started a firefight slow grow and a night stalker army and all the rest and it's back on, on the uh, on the back burner but I really do need to get mine finished I'm sure we're all in the same excuse the pun boat here that we all have many projects on I'll quickly jump onto these guys while I'm talking about them um, I am currently putting the slow into slow grow doing uh, Blackjack Legacy's Firefight Slow Grow Challenge. Um, so it's three months to paint a thousand point army. Started at the beginning of this month. Um, head on over to, to his YouTube channel. Uh, there's a good video on there explaining how you can take part. It's also a Facebook group, which is a great community of everyone motivating each other to get stuff done. Um, I'm doing Enforcers, as you might have seen in the earlier video with Nick. We're both doing Enforcers, um, slightly different themes. His more Pathfinder, mine's more uh, peacekeeper. Um, I've built so far two peacekeeper captains. I think probably I'm gonna, only going to field one, but I wanted the option of um, a couple of different weapon options. Um, and I've got five of my peacekeepers done so far as in, well, say done, built. Um, and hopefully by the end of this week, I'm going to try and knock together a test scheme for the painting. Still not really sure on exactly what I want to do paint wise, but that's why why we. Do tests, isn't it? So uh, we're going to have a look. I might I'm aiming towards maybe doing white, go for like a nice crisp white, maybe sort of like British police force sort of look. Um, we'll see. Um, on Friday, I'm doing a blog. Um, it's getting close to Halloween, my favourite time of year. And talking of needing motivation to get things done, I've been meaning to do my Night Stalker army for, or fully complete my Night Stalker army for a very long time. Um, some of you might. I've seen the uh, Shadow Hulk I, I did, the uh, affectionately named Pumpkin Giant, um, quite a while ago now, probably a good, good year or two ago. Um, and I still haven't got around to actually finishing my Night Stalker army. But with the ambush rules in the new rule book, go check those blogs out if you haven't already. Um, I can achieve a smaller army at a much quicker rate. So my plan is to do a Night Stalker army between now and Halloween, for ambush, um, somewhere between 750 and 995 points. And then I've got my good base point there, and then if I want to uh, build it up into a full Kings of War army, I can do it after, after that point. But ambush, I think, is not only a great way of getting uh, new people into the hobby, uh, into the Kings of War, but also a great way of getting people to build armies that they may be, I've had sat on a shelf of like, oh, I've quite fancy doing that army, because I like that unit or something, but I've already got XYZ big Kings of War armies. I don't really need to build another big Kings of War army, but you might just want a small uh, small 750 point army of many different other uh, armies, different races, different factions, um, and it gives you that option really. Um, so that's my plan. Look out for the blog on Friday um, and see what I'm going to be up to. Back to your painting, now enough rambling from me. Talking of Peacekeepers, 
from Peacekeeper Captains. Um, really like the colour scheme that Daniel Kennedy's done on this. It's uh, very. I could try to work out how, how word how to describe it. It's 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 camouflage, but also not quite. I don't know. I I really really like it. It's uh, really well highlighted, really well shaded. Um, I think it's just an absolutely fantastic job. It's uh, really nice, and the uh, the base is really nice as well. It ties it the but sort of the dusting on the base ties in with the uh, the colours of the the peacekeeper as well. Talking of night stalkers as well, it's almost like I planned all this. Um, David Crabtree has done these shadow hounds. Really like the uh, almost monotone colour scheme to this, where it's uh, all black, but then just highlights of, of green within the, the mouths of the shadow hounds and the crystals um, to just make the, the scene pop. Um, this is why multi basing is fantastic as well. You know, really make dioramas out of every single unit. You can see the, the rock and the tree in the background, so they're all coming over the top of it. It's uh, really, really nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see what you can do with. I say so few colours. I'm sure there's a lot of different colours or, or uh, shades of colours in in the uh, in the paint job there, but in, in its basis, you know, black and green, two colours. Um, really, really nice job. Eddie Bart has been doing his halflings. I think we've featured uh, Eddie's halflings already. Um, but I chose his Iron Beast that I saw recently because I've not seen one done with such light woodwork before. Um, I often like the box art, they've gone for the, sort of the dark woods and the dark colours. Um, I think this is really nice, the, the bright um, bronze of the metal work and the, the really light wood. Um, it's just something a bit different and I think that's uh, really nice that. Binham has been busy with his Pathfinders, his Enforcer fight, uh, Army for Firefight. Um, again, we've, we've featured these a, a couple of times now, but I've been really interested uh, and an avid follower of uh, what he's been up to, because I think the paintwork is superb. Um, really nice edge highlighting on them, um, really nice just tones of the purples just uh, in certain areas, you know, on the shoulder pads, on the masks, that sort of thing, just to, to bring out a bit of colour. Um, yeah, they're absolutely fantastic, and uh, every time I see an update from him, I'm, I'm blown away with how uh, how they're progressing. Ragnar Logbrook has been doing some peacekeepers as well. Um, I really like this uh, two tone of the green and the uh, sort of khaki. Um, again, a bit like the peacekeeper in the past, you know, sort of camo but not camo. Um, it's it's quite quite a bright green, but you can see how that would be um, in certain alien planets would, would be quite quite good camouflage. Um, and I really like the basin as well. I'm um, not sure what company he's used for the, uh, the, the plants and the, and the, the flora and fauna. Um, they look to be paper ones, um, but they're really, really nice. Um, be keen to know where he's got those from. Um, and the tufts as well, um, to pro give that proper like alien world feel. Um, so they're really nice. And it's great to see that uh, Ragnar's taken up a nice hobby after, spoiler alert, no longer being in Vikings. been painting some snow trolls. Um, I, I love seeing snow effect bases. I think they're, uh, they're very difficult to do, but really effective when, when you can. Um, it's always finding the right um, snow powder textures and that sort of thing, because uh, they can sometimes just look a bit like blobs of, of, of white paint rather than fluffy snow. Um, so I'm not sure what he's used here, but it's, it's done a really good job with it. Um, it ties, ties in nicely with the trolls as well, all sort of uniform colour between the bases and the and the snow trolls, and then just like the reds on the cloth and that sort of thing, just to, to make them pop. Uh, Steve has done his GCPS. Um, Nice traditional sort of camouflage colours with these guys, um, but really well executed. Um, and I actually picked these guys out for the basing as well. Um, I think sometimes it's it's all too easy to, when you're doing grass, uh, be it static grass or tufts or whatever it might be, uh, it can be sometimes a bit too easy to just PVA the whole entire lot, dunk it in, 
and and have the whole area as one sort of lush green meadow, um, which you know you would imagine most war torn battlefields don't quite look like that. Um, they they look much more like what Steve's managed to to do here, where there's a lot of uh, bare patches and rubble and things like that on the ground as well. Uh, it's uh, sort of perfect example of less is more. Um, I think they've really done a fantastic job there of getting it very, very realistic looking. That's it this week, folks. Um, been plenty of people painting uh, lots of firefight for the slow grow, um, bit of Kings of War. Everyone's obviously really hyped about the new book, so uh, people will be uh, looking to see what uh, what they can build next, um, particularly with ambush, as I say, on the way. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of people as well that have got existing Kings of War armies that will see the Legion rules and think, right, great, I can add another thousand points to this army now and, and do big three thousand point battles. Um, hopefully, some people will start building some siege towers as well for the siege rules because uh, that looks like a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, as I say. Look out for my blog on Friday if you're a Night Stalkers fan or a Halloween fan. Um, I'll be keeping that semi-regularly between now and Halloween. Um, and hopefully, touch wood, I'll actually have some Night Stalkers finished to show off around that time. And some Peacekeepers and maybe even some Armada, uh, Northern Alliance or Varangar boats as well. Busy, 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 as I'm sure we all are or should be. Um, hope you all have fun painting over the next week or so, and don't forget to use the hashtag MyMantic if you want to be featured on this midweek roundup. See you later, folks. <laughs>